Welcome back to Metroid Prime 3. Okay, now, now, I know things look bad. They look really, really bad right now. It's, uh, it, okay, 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 computer, yes, thank you, I know. We're we're getting the, the next two bomb components. We uh, just need to kind of reach them first. Yeah, that's the second one there, but we need to go through this. Uh, there's so many more dead bodies here that have been drained of their energy entirely. That usually means one thing, but now, now, that doesn't mean. Let's 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 just st stay calm here. It's a good thing we have the ice missiles to deal with the Metroids. No, no, no. That's not the Metroids. That's not. We, yeah, we, d no, let's let's not jump Search to your any feelings. conclusion. You know it to be true. Well, look, we got an E tank here, but we're gonna we we can't really open that right now because the glass is too strong. And uh, Metroids. I don't think. T Metroids! Ah, uh, come on! Oh, and they're like fully evolved Phazon Metroids! The Federation will never learn! This is not the Federation, I don't think. Uh huh. Because five months ago, the Aurora got corrupted with Phazon, which means I think the pirates took over Elysia. So they took their Xena Research Facility and used it to harvest the Metroids that they saved from Prime 2, I think. So I think this is all the uh, this is all the pirates' duty. I mean, the only reason I call out the Federation is because they made an alliance with this planet, and if it's been taken over, who's to say they weren't experimenting with them to begin with? It's possible the pirates gave them the Phazon. I don't think that's the case. The pirates are pretty against the Federation at this point. I don't think they would have an alliance with them and then have a war with them, especially one that they've had you know long before. Oh no, that they, I mean, that they landed here. Oh, I mean Federation with robots, and then when the Federation's not looking, take take their Metroids that are here. They didn't have Metroids though. They probably had uh, they probably had uh, places that could that could house Metroids because this was a Kozo Federation place and all that, which is how they were able to make the the Aurora unit. But I don't think that the, that this is the Federation. I think this is solely the Space Pirates. I mean, look, the place is, like, leaking Phazon. Okay. And they could only achieve this by corrupting the Aurora unit with Phazon, and ever since they did that, that's how- that's when things went to shit. So I'm confident this is just Space Pirate bullshit. Not the Federation. If the Federation were doing something, uh, scandalous, I would tell you. I'd be the first to tell you. But I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt this time. Because I'm pretty sure if they're gonna make fucking, like, th th they're already doing bad shit with the P.E.D. I think that's the- that's the most bad stuff they're doing, but to have Metroids on top of that, I don't think so. I think that's all- that's all Space Pirates. Get in the damn hole, will you, Samus? Thank you. I do like how the little bastards are trying to attach themselves to you. Because they know. They know who I am. Every single one says mother. Alright, well... Mother. Here's our next, uh, upgrade. Oh, hello, baby. Hello, indeed. Is that the ice beam? Are those Metroids? We've got steam spiders. Oh, steam spiders okay. Tiny labor mechanoids. Didn't destroy them, but, yeah, they don't really do much. They're just little, uh... They're just there. ...repair droids. So, uh, impenetrable glass. Can't really break through that. We gotta turn that off. Was that the... What were they called in Prime 2? The... Uh, spider missile or something like that? Seeker missiles. Seeker missiles! Well, we oh. have an energy cell now. We got two energy cells. Oh, boy. And that makes the glass now breakable. And the door now rises. I hope he didn't take the power out of the things keeping the Metroids in. Shit. <laughs> well, at least we got the Seeker missile, that's cool. Uh. God damn it, Samus! Put the thing back in! Uh. What? Well, I mean... Fortunately, the Seeker Missile works a lot better this time around. Like, every time they do the Seeker Missile, it just... It improves. Because now here... I think just by even using the Seeker Missile on that door, it's like, Okay, gotcha! Well, uh... 
I'm, I'm hearing bad noises, but I mean, I, I think we're okay. You know, they could be well-behaved Metroids. They could have trained them to stay in there. In their little, uh, They're not going to. They already broke uh, out. Oh. Well, maybe, maybe they're still. Oh, oh, they're well, mobilizing. Well, this planet's doomed. Oh, they're mobilizing. Oh, they're mobilizing. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe this is better. Maybe this is better. I'd rather have them dead by my hand than roaming around somewhere, so let's just all kill them right now. I'll kill them. Ah, hello. Uh, okay. So I go. Ah, go. All right. Works about the same way as regular Metroids do. Quick scan, scan, scan. All right. So here's a phase on Metroid. He can phase out of local time space. What? Still vulnerable to extreme cold, though. But uh, the thing is, he can kind of see your missiles coming sometimes, and he's only vulnerable some of the time. So I just say, keep beaming the shit out of him. That'll annoy him and uh, try and make him turn more solid, which you can maybe fire a missile to take him out. It's more of an art than a science, I'd say, killing Metroids. Would charge beam help in this scenario? Why? So we can miss? Just to deal damage? So we can miss? Well, I mean, just don't miss, forehead. Well, I, I can shoot it as well as I want, but if he just uh, faces out of local time space, I mean, that's the most ideal way to take him out. But sometimes he'll just... Phase out of existence. Sometimes the, the the missile will just go. Uh, yeah, you aimed under him, didn't you see? Some sleight of hand. I didn't even know we were blasting magician Metroids. Meanwhile, a thousand beams will also do damage. And if he phases out, I won't waste any. Uh, I won't waste any ammo. Oh, hello, hello, boys. Hey, whoa. Oh, whoa, and they phase up into the walls to outside of play. They're clipping! They're clipping! Ah! They were so mad at people going out of bounds in Prime 1 and 2 that they said, Okay, fine! <laughs> now the Metroids can go out of bounds! You monsters! Jeez, come on. Not ideal for close quarters combat. See, now he's just annoyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, look, how did it miss him? It's like the missile went out of the way to avoid the Metroid. Jeez. Now, these things are a right nuisance. At least with the regular Metroids, I can just shoot an ice missile at them and be done with it. So... Uh... You know, I think I answered my own question. I was... I was about to say Metroids kind of remind me of zombies, oh, but not really, because... It always seems like in zombie movies, nobody ever knows how to actually kill the damn things. And it takes, like, one person to say, shoot them in the head. But with this, it's Metroids. People have tried to kill them, and they just get sucked of their own life force. Well, I mean, the Chozo put them into this world. It takes Chozo weaponry to, to, uh, weaponry to take them out, right? I brought you into this world. I could take you out. I mean, if I if I gave the Federation troops a liquid nitrogen gun and said, go fight Metroids, we'd have no problems. And yet we haven't yet, because we keep thinking all the other Metroids are gone. There are four of these little bastards in this hallway now. We're finding out that they're kind of a necessity to keep the X-Parasites at bay. Well, do doesn't X show up later, though? Yeah. In the timeline? Like, the Metroid kind of kept them at bay because... You know, the Chozo made the Metroids to combat the X. And then, that now, since the uh, Metroids are removed, the X thrived on Planet SR388. So really, we're just fucked all around. I think these ones need to be eradicated entirely, because the last thing I need is for Phazon to infect the X Parasite. Oh, ew. I mean, it was already passionately terrifying when the X became cold to combat me. Hmm. So... Yeah, yeah, actually, you know, Dread kind of sewed up all the loose ends. No more X, no more Metroids. Except for one. That's how you get, you get, uh, sequel bait. Except for one. But we found another one. But there's another. But there's something new. Oh, I was talking about us. Oh, what? Wouldn't that technically make us both? Or neither? 
because one suit would take out the other. I need to play Dread again. Perfect. We'll play Dread again. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you want to play all the Metroid games again? It's been a hot minute since we've uh, touched a 2D Metroid. I've been filling my time with other Metroidvanias. I know, I know. You're you're in deep. I'm, I'm in deep because I realize it's the exploration that I love. It's what got me into Dark Souls initially. It's the exploration of the event. Oh no, no! They're in open air! Oh, okay, okay. So I, so if we take care of these two Metroids, that means we would have killed all the Metroids in the facility, that means the world is safe. Uh-huh, yeah, sure, keep telling that's, yourself that's, that. That's all we gotta do, just, just, just that. kill these two and then that's it, we've saved the day. Oh, come on. And once ah! again, the day is saved! No thanks to Samus Era! An extremely mad woman. There. Now all of the Metroids have been eradicated from the and planet of the least. More God damn it! There's still one more! Get him! Okay, there's two more! Fuck! No! Excuse me, Retro. How on earth did the Metroids stay behind the glass? Stop! If they could just phase through anything? Because take out the energy cell, which probably reduced the phase on powered glass or whatever kind of energy <laughs> kept them in there, and then. It just became regular plexiglass, which of course is like cardboard to Metroids. I kind of love that it almost looks like they're laughing at you. <laughs> when they phase back, they just go, <laughs> Maybe it's Dark Samus laughing at us. Oh, the hive mind comes to laugh at us. Actually, that'd be kind of fucked up. Metroids get out and then the hive mind attached to them is just like, <laughs> Got her! Maybe Dark Samus thinks like, Haha, I will use the Metroids to kill Samus Aran! And then realizing that, oh wait, the person most qualified to kill Metroids is indeed Samus Aran. Is she like the worst copycat ever? I think she thinks like a single-celled uh, parasite. Or maybe she thinks like a supervillain with a twisty mustache. I think she thinks like an angry tardigrade. That's actually probably the best comparison you got. So, the Aurora, well... Yeah. The Aurora. It detected... a meteorite colliding into a planet and a corruption spreading. Ooh. What was the corruption, Phazon? It was about one month ago that we made a revelation, but all attempts at transmitting the critical data to the Federation were unsuccessful. It appeared that the Aurora unit had become disabled. We tried desperately to restore the Aurora, but it had been corrupted by an unknown virus. Our only means of communication with the Federation were severed. We're trapped. And that tells me that that's when the pirates moved in and brought all their Metroids with them. But they're all gone now, right? We've killed them. Uh huh. Yeah, how quickly do these things reproduce? Uh, Lightning fast? Let's put that in the back of our minds right now because we have our second component to get to build the bomb. I mean, if we kill all the Phazon in the world, that means other things will die too, right? That's that's how I'm gonna see this. Yeah, just just nuke this planet to get rid of the Metroids. Hey, it worked for Raccoon City for a little while. So there are three locks to this thing. That's how you take them out. Seeker missiles. That's the first one, but uh, this I'm, I'm having a hard time navigating this room right now. Does it only cost? one missile to shoot a seeker mi five seeker missiles it costs five seeker missiles or yeah for one seeker missile it costs five of them but so what i've been doing is i've been firing with the beam once and then holding down right afterwards to save me a missile huh i guess i just haven't been paying attention to your missile count because it seems like you've barely lost any i guess we got so many you've also been getting pickups too so that makes sense all right, so up here, just aim and shoot. Oh yeah, you did. I'll be darned. And last one. Boop. What happens if the Metroids start attacking Dark Samus? Why would they? Because irony's funny. If the if the phase on Metroid start attacking Dark Samus, I know they, they would they would eat the energy from her that they would give to the Metroids, which would still be attack you know, part of her. So 
It'd be like if you ate your own arm. I, I know. It'd just be interesting to have irony to phase on mother. Okay, now this is starting to look like a bomb. That's looking pretty bomby to me now. We have one more component left. We have to take the Sky Tram again. Oh god. We're gonna have Metroids following us the entire way. I haven't seen any so far, mm -hmm. so I, 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 we, may, we may have destroyed, well, maybe about 95% of them, hopefully? Uh, hold on, do, do you feel that tingle in the back of your spine? No, I don't feel... Uh, there it is. There's a sense of impending dread, and not Metroid dread. Even though it is impending at this point in the story. In this point in the timeline. Show them during the loading screen, you know you want to. Oh, that would have been so cool if you just have a Metroid, like, following along the tram. No, I think they're hiding from us because... Oh shit, Samus is here. The one who can kill us the best. Yeah, hive mind. what do you think about that? Well, actually, since we're corrupted, aren't we a part of the hive mind too? We're corrupted, but we're not... Fully corrupted. Uh, we're, we're not indoctrinated. That hasn't happened yet. We still have free thought. If we don't, if, if we don't, uh, dispel that phase on when we're overloaded, then yeah, we will become part of the phase on hive mind. Ah, okay. Right now we're just still holding on. We're still ourselves, just enhanced by phase on the beautiful blended warrior that the pirates are trying so hard to create. They can't even do that right, no nope. losers. <laughs> Dorks. You just walk up to a pirate, do an L on your forehead. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> they tried to do that with their three-fingered hands. Just, what the hell is that? Puts, like, thick glasses on him and just punches him in the face. <laughs> Nerd! Give him an atomic wedgie. <laughs> Gives him a noogie with her, with her beam cannon. <laughs> But, start, but starts welding his head. Hold on. You gave him like a, an absolute abomination, Noogie. You basically sandblasted his forehead off. <laughs> God, I love that imagery. What's <laughs> up, dorks? And he just chest bumps the space part off the edge. <laughs> Oh, frat girl Samus. I frat gotta, I gotta girl love it. Samus. Oh Hell yes, yeah. Butch Femme Samus. <laughs> Crushes a brewski over her head and then starts uh, TPing your house. Takes two beers, opens one up, and you know, un undoes her helmet, slams it back. He's like, "Hey, you! You want some?" Throw, throws it at another guy, wow! and bets itself right into his forehead. Actually, have you seen that amazing clip online of the guy doing the whirlpool with the beer? <laughs> he just, like, uses his teeth to pop open the beer cap, and then just, like, starts drinking and does a whirl, and then it creates a whirlwind of, a, of beer drinking. It's hilarious. Shit, I'll have to find you the clip, because I can totally see Samus doing that. Also, she makes a fucking nuke! Yep, this, this is the third component of our nuke. All right. It's all loaded up. Now we need to take it to the place we need to take it to to put it in place. I think we could do that. Excellent work, Samus. The Therodian bomb is complete. Hell yeah. We are now ready to execute. Hold that thought. Got to go in a cannon. Hold, please. Gotta jump in the cannon Excellent. real quick before I crush some brewskis with the pirates. Okay, one more time. Place the bomb in the cargo hold of the spire pod. We will mark the spire location on your map. Please hurry. There is no time to lose. All right, I can do that. Just gotta go ahead and take the bomb to uh, well, it's that big open place where uh, Gore's suit was. 
if that makes any sense. There you go. Found it. Found it? There you go. Fear vortex that shit. <laughs> Just don't drown yourself, okay? Just don't waterboard yourself with beer. <laughs> I can do that with vodka. <laughs> And then I- and there's a vortex coming out, too. I just, huh, throw my head and it's like a vortex! <laughs> uh, God, I think Samus would get crunk at a party, just to show the boys. I think she could hold her alcohol really good with that bird girl DNA. <laughs> that, that metabolism, that just... It's like, what's the matter, guys? Can't take can't take 19 beers? Let's go! <laughs> Raven Beak just goes, that's my girl! <laughs> Alright, blow this fucker up! No, we gotta, put it, no, oh. we, get, we, we gotta put it in place. Uh, I know, I know. I gotta get away from the area. Does this mean we're evacuating the planet before we blow this thing up? Oh, no. No. Are we gonna turn our back and have the explosion happen behind us? No, the ball. Now we gotta go back and uh, talk to the AU to, I guess, trigger a couple of flags so everything runs properly. Do not set that off until you come talk to me. I want to make sure my Barbie dolls are safe. Damn it! Stop! And that you don't fall into the hey, mainframe. Wait. wait, wait, you made it! Oh. Okay. That was pity. And also very nice. Thank you for that, Retro. <clears throat> <clears throat> I meant to do that. All right, got your bomb set up. Sup, bish. Nice bomb. <laughs> Prime. <laughs> oh my right. god! Oh my yeah. god! Uh huh. If he says corruption, I'm gonna lose it. Oh. Nah. I would. Uh, yes. I wonder if it's one of these uh, lovely Nintendo loops where saying no gives you interesting dialogue, but overall you're supposed to say yes anyway. I think what it does, because I knew you would ask about it, it'd, it'd be something like, you know, it's like, oh, return when you are ready then. Ah, it's kind of boring. Compared to, well then, if you won't, then you'll have to die, and then turrets come out and gun you down, Dad. None of that! None of that! You're delusional if you think that. I still love saying no to Princess Zelda in Ocarina of Time. She just, like, actually gives you a pouty face, like, won't you do it? Now this, I feel like, let's repeat what they had to say to me this time. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, well. You must now proceed to the bomb pod. We will release the cables once you're in position. We regret this mission places you in mortal danger. But there are no <laughs> But, <other options>. eh. <laughs> you already said yes. At least you regret, you don't just assume, so I'll take that at least. You signed the waiver, get out there. So essentially, we moved Skytown just like a few dozen miles this way. And now we're gonna go back to where the, Sky the uh, spire pod was. And we're gonna detach from the from Skytown and pilot it over to where the Leviathan Shield is. And then take an escape pod and to then, get out there. And then we're gonna manually shut off the engine so that way the, the it, it drops down onto the shield. And then we gotta take an escape pod to get the fuck out of there. Okay, there's the detachment. Oh. Guys, 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 uh, okay. <sighs> okay. And we're on our way. Goodbye! Wow. Look at this view. I sure hope nothing jumps me as I'm trying to set off this bomb. I hope so, too. Three, two, oh. I mean, it's, uh... I mean, I'm, I, you, you, you can't just take a nuke over airspace and assume nobody will notice. I mean... What do you mean the pirates detected this? 
Oh, a defense mission. Yes, it is. Ah. So this could be a little tough if you don't know what to do. But don't worry. I'll help you get through it. Thank you. The Spire indeed does have a health, uh, health bar. And we got these lovely uh, space pirate assault skiffs come and uh, take everything out. They look like fucking cicadas or something. They do! Nasty looking bugs. Oh, wrong visor. This is, yeah. Uh, lightly armored assault craft. Uh, lightly armored? I don't think so. Go into hyper mode to take these things out because they take a lot of damage and it's hard to lock onto them. Your missiles will not help you! Ah! <laughs> Hyper mode, I find, is the best way to take these out. These things take precedent. Because these things hurt the most. They also throw drones out here. But what you can do is you can have a seeker missile lock onto to multiple ones of them, as well as a skiff, and that takes care of that. I still don't think the skiff uh, got hit by that seeker missile. Maybe it was just a suggestion, maybe. The missiles uh, do have a hard time hitting their mark. But there we go. Hyper, hyper mode reduces, like, it melts them. Excellent. We're gonna get some airborne guys, take them out the same way, as you normally do. Quickly, though, because I think their death explosions can cause damage to the spire. Wow, they actually did. Not that much damage. But, it's still but, something. But it's those skiffs, those skiffs that really, really hit hard. Oh, you mean this one right here? These, these are uh, troop droppers. They drop a new type of enemy. These are armored shield troopers. They are armored troopers that have a shield. Cool. This guy is now, is now just an armored trooper. <laughs> Seeker missile works pretty good when uh, clearing out multiple enemies at once. Just imagine being on the field of battle. I know we joked about this before. It's just like, oh, hey, uh, shield, shield armor core, what do you think? Okay, uh, armor core. <laughs> Just immediately losing rank when you lose your weaponry. It's well, hilarious. Well, I think it dates back to how uh, samurais would greet each other in battle uh, during the time during the time of the Heike. They would uh, declare their name, their nationality, and uh, who their family were, and uh, great things that they've done in the past. Yeah, but these are space pirates. They don't really deserve it. They don't have any uh, any great accomplishments. They keep fucking it up. <laughs> Oh dear, Is there, are there still guys on the on the structure? So, uh, the skiffs take priority. If you can actually hit them. If I can actually hit them, I'd like to zoom around there, but... They're the ones that take the, sh that, that take the shots that take the most damage, I suppose. But if you destroy the skiffs, then the game counts that as complete. So if you have to choose between the space pirates boarding the, the spire and the skiffs shooting the spire, take out the skiffs. They actually jump. Wow. All right. Now that that minor annoyance taken care of, I'm dropping this bomb, whether they like it or not. All right. Disable that. Disable that. Disable. Oh, oh, oh that. I'm glad that you were able to do that. That was really cool. What do you mean? That you actually had to push the buttons. Yeah, has, it has to be done manually, of course. I know, it's cool. Now we got our escape pod here. Sure. Five minutes, it's gonna drop. <laughs> I just accidentally shoot the thing and break it. Of course! Alright, call up your ship. Uh, well, it's too dangerous. I don't want my ship anywhere near this nuke. That's true, that's true. I don't think I could get out of the blast in time. I think my escape pod can go a bit faster in terms of escaping the blast radius. Dun 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 It's the most thrilling minigame you've ever played in your life. It's called Put Fuse the Fuse Boxes Back Together. Intense welding action, the likes of which you've never seen outside of WarioWare or Mario Party. Electrical engineering at its most thrilling. Gaming could never hope to see such electronical engineering at its at its peak. I mean, kind of cool, but yeah, this is kind of silly. The AI promised me I'd be safe, but he was wrong. 
They tried to make that S that you that you draw in like elementary school. Yes, I'm waiting for it. I made it too. Shit. I made the cool S. All right, we fixed it. Get moving. Get moving. Get moving. Okay, get out of here, guys. Get moving. Get moving. Excuse me, spiders. These teams, these uh, steam spiders don't know what's coming. It's like, wait, is that a nuke? Are they gonna drop us onto a guys? Gary, guys! Gary, I think it's time I told you. Get everyone, get everyone, get everyone! We need to talk, now! We need to tell them! Gary, I used your clarinet to unclog my toilet. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here! Oh, what? Now shit, but the... Oh, no. Engine shut down in three minutes. It, it does that thing where I think I go too fast and it goes off the screen, so it still thinks that it's going up and like... It's alright, we had three minutes. It's more dramatic that way anyway. And... Oh my god. Drop a literal fucking bomb on them! Oh... Whoopers! Whoopers? Bush! Wow. And it worked! And it worked! Seed shield destroyed! Whew! Good thing we survived, huh, guys? So I told y'all to jump! Hey, where's Susie? She didn't jump? Oh, man, I was gonna ask her to prom on Friday! We can still go to prom. Okay! Well, we did it. The plan worked. <laughs> Damn right! <laughs> you come back after all that. The plan didn't work. No. The shield regenerated. <sighs> they had a backup generator. Which I kind of half expected. Okay. Well, the way to the, to the seed is open. Boss time next time! Next time is boss time. Thought about doing it here, but I think uh it'd be a bit too a bit too much for now. I mean we had to deal with Metroids. I'm a little kinda still not okay we, after that. We blew open the door. I think the boss can wait. Let it panic a little bit. Gotta make sure all those Metroids are gone too, right? I mean but we we took care of all of them. Right. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I don't believe it. We did it. I don't believe it. We did it. It's it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Until I see any more Metroids, I'm gonna just assume that everything's fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna live the way I normally do. If I see a Metroid, I'm gonna kill, kill it. <laughs> I'm gonna kill it. To death. Unless well, it's a cute baby Metroid, then, well, maybe. 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 Maybe put it in a tube and... See what happens. If it's infected with phase on it, unfortunately, it has to go. Yeah. If it's a normal Metroid, well, I mean, uh, just put like put it in a canister. And... Give it some nurturing. Maybe then it will uh, change its aggressive, you know, nature over nurture. It's kind of a thing. Well, and next time in Metroid Prime Three, we're gonna take out the Leviathan Seed on Elysia. See you next time.